Hi everybody, Jeff, your Executive Garden here. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Executive Gardener Channel. Uh, this is a second episode to a three-part series of comparing tomato plants and how they do with miracle Grow, um, uh, the uh, liquid food, versus a standard compost mix. So let me remind you, and I'll put the link in the bucket below here, and show you what the four tomato plants looked like uh, in the first part of the series, there was two that were treated with miracle Grow and two that were treated with a compost mix that consisted of rabbit pellets, organic compost, and also worm casting, so worm compost. So I'll show you the update and show you what the two that were treated with miracle Grow look like compared to the two that were treated with organic compost look like. And reminder, it was three weeks ago when I first planted these seedlings into the four fabric pots. So I'll give you an update and show you what each looks like. And our last part of the series will probably be in three weeks from now to show you what the tomatoes look like. Um, because none of the tomatoes have started yet, but there's certainly significant growth on each of the plants. So let me give you a close up on the four plants and what they look like. So here they are. Um, and my organic friends are not going to like me because the organic two did not do as well, no, not nearly as well as the two that were treated with miracle Grow. So, um, so let's take a look here. I'll point these two are the two on the left. These are miracle Grow treated. Um, and these are just treated with organic compost. I use a organic uh, seaweed type concoction uh, in them. But you can see right away, just from looking from a distance to two and two, that there's a significant difference in the color. The ones that were treated with miracle Grow, these two are much healthier looking, much green. These two, kind of a light shade of green for some reason. Uh, and I guess you could argue that the compost that I use isn't good enough, but you know, I use three different blends, and uh, this is what I got. So, um, so let's take a look at it up close. So let's take a look at the two over here. Look at the difference between uh, how plush this is, okay? Um, very plush. Um, and it's approximately uh, two times the size of the one uh, over here that was treated with just compost. So this compared to this, okay? And you can see in addition, this is really bushed out and and uh, really created a nice bush of uh, leaves and so forth from tomatoes maybe as a result of the miracle grow this one really has kept relatively thin and not done much okay and you'll see as it relates to stems look at the stem on this one okay and the stem over here this one is probably 70 percent bigger than the one that was treated with just organic compost okay so not as good in general again leaf color for the organic compost, not nearly as good as the miracle Grow. Uh, as it relates to flower buds, you'll see there are a good amount of flower buds here at the top, nothing at the bottom, okay, just at the top. And on this one as well, you'll see the organic treated, some flower buds at the top, no tomatoes yet. Again, this one, just like this one, very, not as robust, not as filled out uh, compared to these two, okay. So in general, uh, the miracle Grow plants, and also there's, there's, there are, there is about the same amount of buds on the miracle Grow plants, flower buds. Uh, there's some there, some getting ready to go. So interestingly enough, the miracle Grow, um, you know, maybe because it's got more nitrogen in it, it's, it, there's much more leaves, okay? Much more robust leaves as opposed to the ones over here, okay? So, in general, I would say after three weeks, there's no comparison. Uh, the miracle Grow is much more plush than the one treated with compost. Now, this could all change in the next three weeks. I don't know. We'll see. But it will be interesting to see how many, which develops fruit faster. Uh, there's no question as it relates to stems and the leaves that the miracle Grow is better. And the overall look of the health is better. Um, I want to remind everybody that all four plants were watered at the same time got the same amount of direct sunlight, so that wouldn't be the issue. Um, so that's where we are. Uh, after two weeks, the Miracle Grow plants are twice as big, twice as thick, twice as much 
uh, foliage on it and about the similar amount of um, flower buds that will eventually turn into tomatoes. Uh, that's all I have for you. So we'll update you in three weeks and compare the two and two. Again, look at the link in the bucket. That'll show you the first episode of this series to see what these things looked like uh, from the start. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.